Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Bucci. Today I've got some more Team Fortress 2 gameplay for you. Today I'm playing as the engineer on Payload Upward. As you can see I'm using the Widowmaker, the Pistol and the Gunslinger for a more roaming engineer loadout. So, in this video I'm just messing about using the Widowmaker, which is quite a cool gun. I really like this gun. It's a really, really nice shotgun. It's it's a pretty good side grade to the, uh, the standard shotgun. Obviously there aren't any real upgrades in Team Fortress 2, everything's a side grade, but this gun's really, really cool and it hits nicely and it's actually really useful, especially if you're like, like me and you're a roaming engineer and you don't like staying in the same place for too long. So since Team Fortress 2 hasn't really released any new weapons, I thought I would go back and revisit some of the old weapons or older weapons. Apart from the stock ones, because I usually use them. So recently I've been using the Widowmaker, the Machina, and the Heat, heat and heat Maker. Sorry. And so in this video, I just wanted to show you the Widowmaker. Anyway, so here I'm just placing a sentry, coming around, just spy checking everyone. One thing I probably should note is it's probably not worth spy checking with the Widowmaker because you can only actually fire off six shots. Because every time you fire the Widowmaker, for those of you that don't know. Uh, if every time you fire the Widowmaker you lose 30 metal uh, and if you hit someone depending on how much damage you do you get a certain amount of metal back so at close range you can get like a profit of metal but if you are uh, if you're hitting at a range you probably lose you'll be at a loss but anyway when you're spy checking you don't seem to get any of that back or at least I'm not getting any of it back in this video um, so if you're using this loadout I recommend for spy checking which is pretty essential as an engineer you have the pistol at the ready just to be able to shoot people and you should really be having the pistol either that or you know a wrench or a gunslinger even but you don't want to really be getting that close to a spy you want to be able to take them out with your pistol so the Widowmaker is really useful for a roaming engineer and I'll, I'll paint the perfect scene for you you place your dispenser you don't have to worry about that that's somewhere behind enemy lines that's there for you to go back to like over time and for your teammates to use so that's all fine you don't have to upgrade that anymore you don't have to rebuild it it's not going to get attacked you put down your teleports at the beginning of the match and you put, you're you only running around with a mini sentry so you've got some metal to spare and you want to use it so the Widowmaker is a perfect choice because some people are put off by the fact that it uses metal which obviously is used as like a primary source for the engineer that you need metal to make stuff to make a sentry but if you're making mini sentries even if you destroy them you can pick up most of the metal back off its corpse so you can actually be sustaining your amount of metal also um, with the gunslinger you get the extra health so it's actually really easy to just go around and take on enemies and that's something I do as an injury a little bit too much I just run around kind of like a scout with the shotgun or the Widowmaker and just get kills with it because I think that's actually quite fun. You just place down the mini sentry somewhere to support your team. Sorry, I've got a bit of a cough. <laughs> and um, you just, yeah, so here I've just put it down behind the enemy lines. Coming up, getting some meat shots, and there you can see I've got my metal back. So I was on 100 and I went back up to 200 from there. So that's where the Widowmaker comes in really useful for those close range meat shots on enemies that are trying to take down your sentry. And you could easily use the Widowmaker if you're doing like a proper you know sentry nest and uh, engineer set up uh, but I just prefer roaming engineer here I make a big mistake and come into this sentry's line of sight and fall off the edge again I mess up here um, trying to spy check this pyro and then I kill the engineer and then I try and take on this heavy and I thought I had this and sadly I didn't so come round break some stuff come round shoot and and I think he was on five health, and I uh, when I got killed by him, so that was a bit disappointing. I thought I could have had that. So the Widowmaker, it's fairly reliable. It's not, you know, like any gun, you do need to be able to use it, except maybe the mini gun that doesn't require too much skill. Um, but you do need to be able to land those shots at close range. So that's something worth practicing for any class, really. If you're playing scout, engineer. Uh, soldier, pyro, at close range you need to be able to hit those shotgun shots. There's just something about the Widowmaker that just it, it's easier that I feel than the shotgun and I would definitely uh, prefer it over the Frontier Justice um, unless your your mini sentry is getting destroyed a lot uh, it's 
and then you'd want to take the Frontier Justice so you got those mini crits, oh, those crits back even, sorry. If not, you'd probably just want to take the Widowmaker because it has more shots in it, you know, you don't have to reload, that's another plus um, that I've completely forgotten about and, I, you know, it's even written, no reload necessary on the, uh, on like the description, but I forget about that, that's not a big concern for me, but when you're actually playing, that does make a difference and not having to reload. Sometimes you get a little bit cocky and you'll fire off like nine shots or something ridiculous and then you'll be out of metal and you'll be like, well, I'm done now. Uh, by the way, you can only fire six shots. I think I've already mentioned that, but you can only fire six shots. If you've got 200 metal, you know, 30 each time, you get to 180 and you can't find it fire anymore. So you need to be hitting with those. Anyway, it's just coming around here, just roaming again, looking for this soldier to kill trying to take it out. And one of the weird things is using this loadout I start to learn where all the uh, ammo kits are because usually I know where all the health kits are on a map. I kind of know that intuitively just you know off the top of my head I can tell where the nearest health kit is and I'll run straight to it. I'll tunnel vision towards it which is quite bad but now I'm starting to learn where all the ammo kits are because I need that even more as the uh, Widowmaker engineer. Again using it to take out a spy I really should have just moved to my gunslinger and I think that's what I do now. And I don't think I even get the kill in the end. I know I do, I do. I get him now. But like I say, you know, take this from me. Don't be using it uh, to on spies. Use your pistol, use your gunslinger. It's not optimal for that. Um, but overall, it's a pretty hard-hitting gun. And the, the big bonus is the metal uh, rebate on it. That's just nice that you can get that back. Uh, placing down the dispenser. There's, you know, there aren't that many other weapons that I don't think there are any other weapons that can do anything like that. So getting ammo back from shooting and getting successful hits, you're kind of getting rewarded for hitting. It's like, hey, you hit a shot, hey, have another shot. Uh, it's kind of like some sort of fairground ride. Um, it's, it, it just makes you more sustainable as a roaming engineer and lets you stay out in the field for a little bit longer. So you don't have to worry so much about your ammo. You just need to worry about your health more. And if you've got the gunslinger, and as you can see here, I'm being overhealed. You can really last for a long time uh, as a roaming engineer and actually put up quite a big fight against enemies. Here I get completely outplayed by this pyro and that was fair enough. He got me completely. Uh, when I got killed there I thought about raging but then I realised that was a really good play on his part. Um, so I think this is coming up to the final life now. As you can see it's only two minutes left of the round and really we've gotten pushed back to their respawn point. Missing all these shots on this scout and picking up some ammo. That's another good thing about the Widowmaker, you can pick up ammo from dead enemies, kind of like the just Splendid Screen or the Persian Persuader, one of the two. One of the two allows you to pick up ammo as health, so it makes it really useful for sustaining yourself and when you kill an enemy with it, you get your health back instead of getting ammo, so you can last for a little bit longer, but then obviously you don't get any ammo back. But, but hey, if you're a demo knight, you don't need that anyway. Uh, so placing down another sentry, just keeping the pressure on them so they can't push up. And then I realised my sentry placement was actually really bad. Stealing that kill there off that soldier on my team by just lightly tapping the soldier. And this is where I start to get a little bit cocky, start getting a lot of kills. Think about putting my sentry here, which is another really bad placement, and you'll see why in a sec. Kill this pyro. Come around here, kill this soldier. I didn't think I'd get this soldier, but I got him. And he's down. Heavy kills me, and it appears as though the heavy could shoot through the staircase, but the sentry couldn't shoot out. So the heavy took down that sentry with no no difficulty. And here I'm dead again, but I think it's the end of the video anyway. So <laughs> that's it. I believe we win. Yes, and I get second place on the team, which is quite nice. So yeah, there we go. Another victory. Thanks a lot for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. I'm going to put some more up soon, so if you feel like watching some more videos, please subscribe. Thanks a lot everyone. See you later.